The Grammys took place on Sunday, and we've got highlights. And our campus smokers discriminated against? How about non-smokers passing by smoking areas? Those stories and more on Today at Chat State. Hi, I'm Patrick Jackson. And I'm Kendall Creason. Patrick, how are classes going for you? Uh, they started off a little slow for me, but I'm, I'm getting there. We're getting there. How about you? That's good. My classes are going really well. I've got some really good teachers, and I really like all my classes, so it's going well. As Tennessee lawmakers grapple with the controversial bill that would prohibit school teachers from saying the word gay, citizens in other parts of the country suffer from discrimination. Police in Santa Rosa County, Florida, are investigating just such a hate crime. Someone sprayed painted swastikas and anti-gay slurs on a mobile home belonging to an ATO homosexual man. The inside of the home was also vandalized. So far, police haven't made any arrests in the case. Elsewhere in Tennessee, a Clarksville man says a number is following him, though he's done everything he can to escape. In fact, when the three digits showed up on his W-2, he actually quit his job. Jamie Tucker reports from Clarksville. Incident. Hard to believe. But Walter Slinopas believes something other than dumb luck caused a disturbing number to keep appearing. 666. He says he got it when he reported for work at Contact several years ago on his work ID. Then it happened again. And now, a third time. He go Mon Monday, supervisor gave to everybody these forms, and he gave me, and I just, hard to believe. Hard to believe, you know. And 666, again, on Walter's W-2. No, it's the same computer, it's different computers, it's different system, it's different specialists were working on this computer, or it's uh, another system analyst working, I don't know. Walter's worry about the number comes from a well-known Bible verse in Revelation. So if 666 is the mark of the beast, he says he can't accept it, and he quit. Don't accept any papers, any telephone bills, anything with number of devil. The Tennessee man says the Bible tells him not to accept the number, so he sees this all as a test from God. Whether superstition, superstition or sign, he is currently looking for a new job. And contact the company he left, well, it says he's welcome to come back, and it's effectively banned the number 666 from being used in the company. Some people consider smoking to be a right, but not everyone can agree, especially on college campuses. There have been spots designated for smoking, but these are not always enforced. Non-smokers complain about walking through dense clouds of smoke simply on their way to class, not wanting to be exposed to the carcinogens as held by others. Most people accept that the practice of smoking is unhealthy, causing not only cancer, also health defects, emphysema, heart defects, emphysema, and other ailments. Here, what a local student has to say about smoking. I've been smoking for since I was 14 years old. It's about a seven plus year habit. Regret it every day since I started. Lungs hurt, can't run, gain weight. You try to quit, you gain weight. Best thing to do is just put them down. I regret it. You should too. Do smoking bother you on campus? I personally don't smoke cigarettes, but it doesn't bother me when others do. I don't really bother me, just as long as they stay in a little smoke box. Stars of the music business, from Taylor Swift and Mumford and & Sons to Justin Timberlake and Jay-Z, rocked out Sunday night at the 55th Annual Grammy Awards. Martha Shade has a look at the highlights. The music industry celebrated its own with a night of powerful performances. Justin Timberlake returned to the Grammy stage after a four-year hiatus, performing his new single, Suit and Tie, as the screen went sepia-toned. Fun performed Carry On, then went on to win Song of the Year for their hit We Are Young and Best New Artist. I didn't think we were going to win this one, I've got to be honest. Frank Ocean, the Lumineers, everybody amazing. The Black Keys were recognized for Best Rock Performance, Rock Song, and Rock Album. I'm nervous for Frank Ocean took home a new award this year, Best Urban Contemporary Album. Prince presented the Grammy for Record of the Year to Gautier for Somebody That I Used to Know. Many years listening to this man's music growing up and a big reason I was inspired to make music. 
and Album of the Year went to Mumford & Sons. A collection of performers including Elton John, Mavis Staples, and Mumford & Sons paid tribute to the band's Levon Helm with a rendition of The Weight. Elton John said the performance was also in memory of those killed last year at Sandy Hook Elementary. For Hollywood Minute, I'm Martha Shade. What was your favorite moment at the Grammys? I really enjoyed Justin Timberlake, Jack White, and the Black Keys. Those are my favorites. What about you? Okay. I like that guy, Frank Ocean, man. He seems to be a nice artist. Let's take a quick look at the weather this week. Here's Jessica Mercer. It's going to be cloudy and cool early this week, turning sunny on Thursday and Friday. Then a chance of snow on Saturday. What a waste. It needs to snow on school days. After that, we're looking at more cool weather for the weeks ahead. Back to you, Patrick. Thanks, Jessica. Well, that's it for the day at Chess State. Be sure to check us out each week online and on Comcast Cable 3. Have a great day.